uh, yeah, I, all my, you know, I've been in Rupp Arena, I don't know, a handful of times as a fan of former players of ours that, that played here in Kentucky. And, and I can tell you, I never thought I'd experience a day where I saw the opposing team put the crowd to sleep. We did a heck of a job of putting everyone to sleep in there. It's, uh, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Frank, you guys got off fairly well. I think you were up early. Then what happened, do you think? What happens every single time we play a game, Kentucky kind of buttoned up. They said, wait a second, we, we're not playing real well. we got to play better. And our guys completely broke away from the disciplines that we try to instill. And, uh, and then basically got out of the way every possession so they could practice their dunking. And uh, that was pretty good. Frank, it looked like even midway the second half, you just kind of decided to sit back and ride it out too. Is that because of the way your team was just playing? I don't coach if our guys aren't doing what we're supposed to do. I, I, I'm not going to stand up there and clap so people think, oh, look at him still coaching. We didn't do a single thing we talked about doing in two days of practice. And we got out of the way and let them dunk every single time. What am I supposed to do? You know, I, I don't know. Maybe some guys are good at standing up and trying to play the part. I try to be the part. And if my guys ain't playing, I don't see any reason why I should be losing my mind there. Any more questions? How about Carrera, Frank? He's awesome. He drives me nuts. Drives me absolutely nuts because he's a freshman. But he's got the courage, I mean, of a lion. He, he's, he's, uh, he's awesome. I, I'm just telling you, I'm going to be bald and gray by the time he's a senior. But I'm willing, I'm willing to go down that path with him because he's got tremendous courage. How do you think UK matches up with Florida, top two teams in the SEC? Uh... It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I mean, you know, Kentucky guards, uh, you know, Mays is shooting the ball real well. They're, I think they're playing a lot better uh, offensively. I, it's not fair for me to comment on, on how they played before because I really didn't watch them a whole lot until two days ago. Uh, but it just seems that they're playing a lot better offensively. Um, you know, that, that they've got that size in the front court and depth on the front court. Uh, you know, Florida kind of relies on three guys there. And, and Patrick Young, Murphy, and uh, it'll be interesting, you know, because, you know, Murphy's going to stretch your fours. He'll make, make, make your bigs come out and guard him. Uh, but, you know, Kentucky's got that depth on that front line and, you know, got different options. They can, they can play bigger and, and, and stronger at the rim or they can go over Wiltshire and, and stretch you out. And, um, and any time you've got Noel back there, it's going to create easy baskets during the course of the game uh, because guys get caught up in the moment and they, they decide they, they think they can go drive a ball and score. And he's back there that's going to protect the rim as good as anyone in the country. And every block shot's a turnover. So uh, I don't know. It's going to be an interesting game. Florida obviously is old, mature, experienced. Um, Kentucky's younger. Uh, but I think Kentucky will contend. Cal's not. Cal's going to make these guys play their best basketball. Whenever they, they, whenever they say, all right, from here on in, the next game you play, if you don't win, you lose, Kentucky is going to play their best game of the year. That's what, that's what Cal does. And uh, uh, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting that game. Any more questions?